friends welcome back to my channel today we'll try to discuss about a new topic that is reciprocal leveling reciprocal leveling which is a one of the method of leveling we'll be using the main purpose of reciprocal leveling is to find the accurate level between level difference between two points to find the accurate level difference between any two points between any two points this is the one condition where we use the reciprocal leveling in general to find the accurate level difference between these two we are supposed to fix the instrument midway between the two points the fixing of instrument between midway between suppose for example point a is here point b is here i want to know the level difference for that i need to fix the instrument mid of the place that is this concept we called as what equalizing back side equalizing back side and a four side distance but truly speaking practically this is not possible everywhere in the site now first of all what is the purpose of back equalizing back side and four side distance mean mean you are if you know the two points where the difference in elevation is to be known you have to fix the instrument approximately of same distance between the instrument station to first point a and instrument station to first point b what is the purpose of doing this one it is to eliminate the errors eliminate the errors what type of errors it can be eliminated means inclined line of collimation inclined line of collimation and the next one is error due to curvature and refraction can be reduced but in some situations it is not possible to fix the instrument midway between the four side and back side now what situations it is not possible means in case of river or any valleys when you want to cross it because your bank will be like this your river somewhere like this this is your river body if i fix the instrument here the line of sight will not be coinciding the any staff at any reading it will be like this you are going to get so it is not possible in those situations so to eliminate these errors to eliminate these errors it is not possible to perform a ordinary leveling ordinary leveling in that situation we can go for method of reciprocal leveling reciprocal leveling now what we do in case of reciprocal leveling means we need to take staff readings staff readings on each bank of a river on each side of banks of a river how in the first setup suppose if i want to select my condition is what i am choosing a condition like this this is my condition point a is here point b is here similar way point a is here point b is here now what i do this is our profile of the ground say it uh, consider it as a river or a valley okay now what i have chosen is i consider this as there is a rise from a to b 
a to b now i keep the staff at this point and this point in the first setup what i do i will keep the instrument very near to a and i will take the what readings i will take the readings okay Like similar way, I keep the instrument near to B, and I will take the what readings. For clarity in figures, you refer any of your textbooks. It will be clear. Now, when I keep the instrument near A and taking the staff readings, I consider this as what A one. And this one as B one, and this is a error. Similarly, this one is A two, and this one is B two, and this portion is called E. Now, what we consider is let A and B, or what two points, two points. Located on opposite banks of a river. Opposite banks of a river. Okay. And what we are considering? There is a rise from A to B. Means B will be higher than A. This is our condition. Right. Now, what are these? A one and B one, A one and B one are what? Staff readings taken when instrument near to A, instrument fixed near to A, and similarly A two and B two. What are these readings? staff readings taken when instrument fixed near to b okay let e what is this e it is an combined error combined error now what this combined error includes it includes curvature diffraction and collimation what is this collimation means this collimation error occurs when you are taking reading at the farthest point okay farthest point okay now since we are maintaining the distance between a and b is constant since the distance we are maintaining a and b are constant this collimation error will be same for both setups it is same for both setups because distance is same distance is same okay now from these figures what we can observe we observe that when the instrument is fixed at a the staff reading taken at a will be the correct staff reading but staff reading taken at b will be what b1 minus e similarly when the staff reading near to b the correct staff reading near b will be correct that is b2 the correct staff reading at a will be a2 minus e that is you are going to calculate now now here this line top line is called as what line of collimation this is level line level line and this is horizontal line horizontal line similarly here also the same way now what i consider is let let h be the true difference 
true difference in elevation in level between a and b now correct staff reading correct staff reading at a at a condition is what when instrument near a instrument near a what will be this one simply a1 similarly correct staff reading at b at what b what it will be equals to b1 minus a okay similarly uh, now difference i said h equals to difference in level between a and b so h equals to a1 minus of b1 minus a we consider this as equation 1 okay similarly when instrument near b now when you kept the instrument near b what happens here correct staff reading at a will be equals to what because now a being the farthest end so a2 minus e whereas correct staff reading correct staff reading at b will be equals to simply it will be b2 now here again the h will be equals to what a2 minus e minus b i consider this one now adding equations 1 and 2 now what is equation 1 h equals to a1 minus b1 minus e now h plus h 2h equals to a1 minus b1 minus e plus a2 minus e minus b2 upon calculation upon calculation what happens a1 minus of b1 minus of minus plus e plus a2 minus e minus b2 now this one this one gets cancelled 2h equals to a1 minus b1 plus a2 minus b2 therefore finally h equals to a1 minus b1 plus a2 minus b2 by 2 from this you are going to get true difference in elevation between the two points okay similarly similarly if i equate now equate here we did addition now equate 1 and 2 equations so what a1 minus b1 minus e equals to a2 minus e minus b2 this is minus so a1 minus b1 minus of minus plus e a2 minus e plus b2 Sorry. now this minus e if it gets like a 2e equals to a2 minus b2 this whole term if you take here minus a1 minus b1 by what will be final e equals to a2 minus b2 minus a1 minus of b1 by a2. This is the total error to be calculated. Now what is this one? This is the true difference in elevation between two points A and B. And E is nothing but combined error. What this includes? This includes collimation error, refraction error and a curvature error sometimes in problems they may ask derivation if they ask the problems they will be asking separately what is the collimation error itself so for that reason you have to calculate this one e 
and detect the curvature and diffraction combined curvature and diffraction so that it can be removed and you will be remaining with the only collimation method so uh, thank you for watching please watch the sequential videos related to this topic